To set up design verification options, I click Tools, Options. On the Fabrication page, I set the fabrication specific rules for verification. I set the minimum pad size and the trace width. I also set my drill clearance settings. Next, I specify a maximum allowable angle between objects to avoid acid traps. I also set a minimum allowable copper width to avoid creating slivers. I click the Design Verification page. Here I select the Fabrication checkbox so the software includes my fabrication settings in the Design Verification. Then I select each of the previously mentioned fabrication checks. I select all of the other Design Verification checks I want to include. I want to save this particular Design Verification setup for use at a future date. In the Design Verification Scheme area, I click the Save As button and I type a name for the configuration. Then I click OK. I click OK to return to the design. I click the Design Verification button. On the Design Verification toolbar, I can select any scheme from the list if desired. However, I want to keep the current selection. I click the Verify Design button. The software performs a design verification in accordance with the scheme settings and marks the design visually in each area where a design violation or error occurs. To view an error in detail, I open the Spreadsheet window and click the Errors tab. When I click an error listed in the spreadsheet, the workspace highlights the corresponding error in the design and centers it on the display. I expand an error listing to view additional details. In some instances, I can suppress certain errors when I know they are not true errors, such as when a component is intended to extend beyond the boundaries of the PCB. I select the Ignore checkbox, then I click the Auto Update Data button to suppress the error.